say. Let's get this show started. Ain't nothing like some cold water, bro. I'll tell you. Anyway, let's get this show started, y'all. Y'all already know the vibes. I know what to do, right? Hit sm smash that like button. Do me that favor. Smash the like button. It's free. Ain't going to hurt or cost you. Let's get this show started because we got a lot to talk about. Yo, 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 yo. If they know, they know. It's your boy Smoke News TV, man. We back here with another video. Smash that like button. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't subscribed. I don't know what you're waiting on, to be honest. And share this video. Keep that notification bell so you know when I'm dropping my video, actually. And um, try to get your badge, man. Join the team. Get your own badge. Get your team smoke. Smoke game. Try to get your membership. <clears throat> so today, pardon me. So today, we got to talk about Lil Dirk once again. Because now they going around saying, now they, I ain't going to say going around. Now around in the internet, that's swerving around the internet. They basically saying, the feds are saying that they think allegedly, and everything I speak on this video, it's alleged also. They allegedly they think that Little Dirk was actually putting, um, who you want to say, bags, putting more bags on people's heads, Pauls, you want to say that? Or hiring people to put in personal business for them? Now they saying he allegedly doing that. They trying to pin them with two other cases out there in Chicago that happened. Oh, we about to, I'm about to show you that right now. And I got another thing, too. And we got to speak about OTF Jam. According to the internet, according to somebody that's from Chicago that got his own podcast, shout out to Ken Yella. Ken Yella actually said OTF Jam um, flipped on OTF because of personal reasons, not, not spitting a block for him. Mm, we got to talk about that, too. And then the third one I got to tell y'all that I want to speak about. Did the feds actually let the Atlanta case? Remember when Dirk had that case with um with King Von with the shooting and all that in Atlanta, whatever, whatever? Did they let the state purposely drop the case because the feds was building up a case? That's what the feds was actually doing. Was the feds actually building up a case to come get them? That's why they dropped the Atlanta case where him and King Von was dumping. Because remember, they dropped the case completely. We got to talk about that because I got a feeling that's exactly what they did. They said, okay, King Von, they on dead. Man, rest in peace. Drop that case over there in Atlanta and because we over here building a case on him for the future. For the next two years, we're going to get him. Two years come by, 2024, and this is what we got now. Feds picking up dirt. So that's my question to y'all. Do y'all think the feds actually play games with these niggas? Did they actually purposely drop the state cases that he had in Atlanta and waited two years later, rack up some more information and get him on a federality case. That part. We got to talk about it. Smash that like button, subscribe to the channel. Let's get this copyright out the way, man. Copyright fair use disclaimer. You can find that in my description on my channel, on this channel. Everything that I speak on over here is for educational entertainment purpose. Again, copyright fair use disclaimer. You can find that in my description on my channel. Everything that I speak on over here is for educational entertainment purpose. Clips and videos I play are also owned by the original creators. Let's get to this right here, man. Let's get to this right here. The feds believe Little Dirk paid, paid to get these two people knocked off. We're going to say that. For somebody down there, and it's the, it's, the male, it's the male lady. Now, people on the internet saying... This is some allegations. This ain't really true. I don't know how true this is. Stephon Mack, who killed Lil Dirk brother D-Thing. Everybody remember that. Remember when Stephon Mack killed D-Thing out there in the suburbs of Chicago at the club or some club O, some shit like that? OTF Jam Baby Mom was killed because Lil Dirk found out he was he was on he wore the wire around him. Feds think OTF Jam is the key to putting Lil Dirk in jail for all three bodies. Whoa. I'm going to let that marinate in y'all brain and y'all soul. I don't know how true this is. I don't know if this OTF jam real baby mom by here because I remember seeing this article. I remember this. I remember this male lady. I remember this was like, what, two, three. This was a while ago. This wasn't even too long ago. That shit hit the internet and everything. I mean, the cops detected. They was looking for whoever knocked her off and anything. The lady was just doing her job. Somebody ran up on her and knocked her off. 
Let me ask y'all a question. Do y'all think Dirk actually got the capable? You think Dirk capable of doing something like this? Because when you look at Dirk, man, I can't really like. See, I look at other niggas in his camps that can actually push the button. Pause. What we talk a legend. Everything I speak on is a legend. Pause meaning that they can push the button and niggas on the go, niggas on a honey. It's go time, nigga. I don't think Dirk gonna do some crazy shit like that. I can see like other niggas that got to they, they capable of doing that over there at that camp. Not Dirk, but other niggas around them that got to say so also. Second command, third, third command, you know, them type of dudes besides the head honcho, because the head honcho always gotta be in the cup, meaning Dirk. But he always gonna have some people that put out the word for him. Handle the personal business out there in the street activities, allegedly, and everything I speak on is alleged. There's always going to be a second or third man. Who is going to be? Lil Vern, the muscle, nigga on the wheelchair. They call him the muscle for no reason, like I told y'all. They call him the muscle because he connected a lot of niggas and got the OTF family together the way it is. This other niggas allegedly that pushed the button over there. But if this shit right here is actually true, now, the Stephon Mack, and if y'all don't know the history on that, go do y'all research. There's plenty of um, documentaries about Little Dirk Brother getting knocked off, and they um, found out who did it. It was Stephon Mack. He, had, he ended up getting knocked off, though. Now, that right there, I could see allegedly payback, spin back for his brother. I could see that. That's blood right there. That's your bro right there. You're going to do something like that. You're going to be like, man, listen, these niggas done knocked my brother off or not. Nah, these niggas is crazy. So you could actually allegedly see Dirk doing something like that for his brother D thing. But when it comes to the male lady, bro, I don't I don't even know if this any everybody that watched this video, anybody from Chicago, anybody tap in, make sure y'all comment and let me know if this shit is fake news with the male lady or this is actually OTF Jam Baby Mom. Cause I remember this I remember the news breaking news on the internet in Chicago. That shit was crazy. It was all over Chicago news and on the internet. Shit went viral. They saying little Dirk actually, mm, allegedly, because he found out old boy was wearing a wire before the case came. I don't know, champs. I don't know, man. On other news, we got this nigga right here too. Little Tim is releasing a documentary called The Book of, of Timothy. He speaks on the night that he, um, you know, the night he knocked off King Von to protect Quando Rondo. This nigga got a whole documentary coming out. See, this the part, this the part that kind of like get like this the part that gets me upset, right? Because I did, I said somebody go knock this nigga off Quando Rondo out there, whatever in LA, knocked off the wrong nigga. My thing is, because people say, yo, these niggas was, them niggas was dumping out of them niggas in Georgia. Like, niggas was spinning for Vaughn after that shit happened with Vaughn. Like, niggas was going to Savannah, all that. And I mean, you know, they was on his tail, basically. Pause. They was on him. They was on Quan Doan to me. This was what I allegedly, this was going on on the internet allegedly. But see, my thing is, the two main niggas that knocked off your little man, King Vaughn, the one you turned to a rapper, which he didn't want to be a goddamn rapper. Let's get to that part. These niggas still breathing to this day, bro. And now everything comes back to you. Now, you, you, out of all things that happen, Quando they ain't rat on you, Tim, little Tim ain't rat on you, on dirt, your own nigga ratted on you. And they say he rat on you because he felt some type of way about the baby mom situation. We're going to get to it because actually King Yeller speaks about this also. Let's get straight to it. But before we get there, this is King Von X girl, Asia the brat, whatever. Asia's dog. Y'all know who this is. He didn't even kill Von. Why the why the F y'all think the charges was dropped? Mm, he, she said the blunts he shot didn't match the blunts that that killed King Von that killed him. What the F? Basically, what she's saying is the reason why they dropped little Tim charge. Everybody was like self-defense and all that, but I had a feeling they say the bullets didn't even match his gun when he was on the floor bucking. Because I remember Tim got hit too. That's when he fell down. He got hit by one of security niggas or some shit like that. 
off-duty police. He ended up bucking that. You know, Raquan doing King Von was fighting that. They said that bullet didn't even match King Von, the, the bullet that killed him, whatever. So one of the off-duty cops killed King Von by accident. It goes back to making you think now. Oh, hold up. Remember, there was the theory, allegedly, that Dirk wanted this nigga knocked off so he could beat the charge in Atlanta because I'm, I'm trying to tell y'all something right now. And y'all can go do y'all research on this. If King Von was alive with that shit in Atlanta, Dirk would have been locked up right with him. Dirk wouldn't have had no choice but to rat on that nigga or something. The reason why they dropped that charge, and I believe this, is because the Federalists was coming two years later on Dirk. They didn't have enough evidence on Dirk for that Atlanta shooting, even though the detective said they said we're gonna get to the news clip of, of that. Because I'm gonna break all this shit down to y'all. They said they seen Dirk hanging out the window. But when King Von passed away, they dropped the charges on this nigga. That on um, Fanny Willis from Atlanta, on DA George, the DA from Georgia, the one that's in the YSL case, she the one dropped the charges. Two years later, we get this now. We get the Rico from the federal rallies. So now I'm sitting back, bingo. And I don't take a scientist to, to realize this shit. The state purposely dropped that charge on dirt because they knew the federal rallies was coming two years later on them. The feds must have told Fannie Willis and them to fall back. That part. Go get the YSL niggas. We're going to build up a case on this nigga two years later. That's what they got on him right now. So that tells me this nigga Jan was ratting around that time when he was going to court and they dropped the charges. OTF Jan must have ratted two years ago and he kept that wire. When people think of wire, we ain't talking about no long ass wire. Pause. We ain't a new era. They got small ass mics. Pause. Those shits can fit anywhere. They can fit on the side of your jeans, little small. You know how you got the own wireless mics that we wear when we talk? They got the same shits for the rallies. Even smaller ones, pause. OTF Jam had that shit on him for two damn eight years. <laughs> Why you think the state dropped the charge on this nigga and, and, and Georgia and the Federalists came back and got him? Now I'm questioning who the hell killed King Von. Was Dirk involved in this shit? Did he tell the damn all security to knock them all? Because I got to think. Nah, Smoke, that's crazy. Why you want to knock... Go back to my old videos. I bet everybody been saying this shit. When the shootout goes down, bro, you got professional niggas that's... There was other niggas with guns there, off-duty police as security. That's the perfect time to knock a nigga off. Allegedly. When you think about what Dirk doing now, putting bags allegedly on niggas, what make you think he ain't do that to King Von so he could beat this charge? If that King Von nigga was alive, nigga, Dirk would have been locked up. What King Von? Rico would have came earlier two years ago. Think about that. He had to get King Von out the goddamn way so he could beat this charge. The old charge in Atlanta. Let's get to this. Let's get to this. Let's, let's get to this. The state dropped the charge, and then the federal rallies came. Now that we speak, and that's what that's what we're seeing right now on the internet, the feds case. But he was facing time two years ago with the state situation. That part. What are we talking about here? They dropped that shit on purpose. Smash that like button. Subscribe to the channel. Share this video. You see that thumbs up? Smash that like button, man. Let's get to it. Let's get to this old case, the one that he actually beat when King Von passed away. Rest in peace to King Von also. It's a lot of shit going on with on Little Dirt, man. Case against a rapper accused in a shooting outside of the varsity will move forward. Today, Little Dirk appeared in court where a judge ruled there was enough evidence for him to go to trial. Channel 2's anchor Lori Wilson is live near where the shooting happened near the varsity. And Lori, police say they have video evidence in this case. 
Chapita, APD says they used at least five cameras from local businesses, including this BP, as well as from the varsity across the street in order to build their case against Lil Dirk and his co-defendant. On Friday, detectives from Atlanta and Chicago testified in the criminal case against rapper Lil Dirk in Fulton County Court. They say around 5 in the morning on February 5th, Lil Dirk, whose real name is Dirk Derek Banks, and his co-defendant, Devontae Bennett, were seen on camera involved in shooting Alexander Witherspoon, a person police say they knew. They were hanging out. They went to a um, studio to make music. The rapper and Bennett listened to the evidence against them in court. Police told the judge later that night the victim, Banks, Bennett, and others went to a nightclub, a gas station, and ended up in the parking lot of the varsity. That's when Weatherspoon said he was robbed and shot. He said his chain was snatched off his neck, and he had $30,000 stolen from him and they stole the vehicle he was driving. Police say Banks was seen on tape shooting a gun. You see Mr. Banks' arm out the window firing several shots at the victim, towards the victim. Banks' attorney says this is a celebrity witch hunt. Were it not for the celebrity status of these two individuals, then this would be an aggravated assault. Banks released a single... We ain't done. <coughs> smash that like button. You see the thumbs up? Smash the like button if you have it. See, my point is we're playing that video. And we're going to continue. Because I'm trying to show y'all. These niggas, you had a detective on the stand saying they used five different cameras. They had strong evidence, pause, to a point that they was going to take this shit to trial on Dirk and King Von. They had proof, five different cameras showing that they had dirt hand hanging out the fuck effing window. And Lord knows they probably had his face. What are we talking about here? These niggas tatted up all in their goddamn arms. You think miss cameras everywhere, champ? But no, all of a sudden, though, after they bailed out, remember when they bailed out off this? Let's continue. I'm trying to let this marinate in y'all brain because. The picture I'm painting for y'all, let this marinate in y'all brain and y'all saw what I'm about to tell y'all. When you got a little nigga like Dirt that gets successful like that with the bag, let me tell y'all something. Them feds been watching this nigga since two years ago. OTF Jam and probably some other people around that camp because I don't think it's just OTF Jam. I'm going to keep it real. I think it's one or two probably other people around that damn camp that was giving information back to them feds. That's why they dropped that state charge. They let this nigga eat for two years and they knew. Because the picture they trying to paint and now I'm looking back and I'm peeping this, the way Dirk moving, it seemed like he just dropping bags, dropping bags everywhere. Knocking niggas off, allegedly. And everything I speak on is alleged. But that's what it seemed like Dirk been doing. So I think about, okay, this nigga don't look like he the type to go do no 10 joints or nothing like that two years ago off this Atlanta case. Damn, what I got to do to get out this case, man? They got the they detail. They got cam. My, my lawyers told me we got to go to trial, man. All the... I got to figure something out. All right, you know what? Vaughn don't care. Vaughn too wild, man. That part. You don't think them OTF niggas in, they ain't huddle nigga and dirt pie told one nigga like, yo, we... We got to do what we got to do. Because if I, if I stay alive, nigga, I'm going to get smoked with this nigga in trial. And this is two years ago. Two, three years ago when they caught that charge. They got Vine up out of here, man. Why you think little Tim and Quando Rondo still living out here? But nah, smoke, they try to get Quando. Yeah. I'm thinking that that was all the back end play, though. They probably did try to get Quando up out of here two years later. A year later, whatever, after they spent the block and caught him in L.A. But you got to think about what type of nigga this nigga probably thinking. He's like, man, I'm going to knock everybody off, nigga. So I won't have to do no type of time. That part. When you got money, you can play like that and put money on. You can put bags on people. Allegedly. You can put bags. I know what I'm talking about. You can put the bag on people when you playing with that type of money Dirk playing with. Spooky, man. It's spooky. We don't know what, though, Dirk, I'm telling y'all. Pardon me. I don't think Dirk was the type to go win a couple of years. He's like, nah, I'm not going in. I'm knocking off everybody. Anybody in the way, anybody I see that could that could get me jammed up, nigga, and, you, and I feel like you're going to take that stand, I'm going to try to knock you off. 
Obviously, he his his, his arm is his antennas wasn't working too well because OTF Jam is the one that actually got you knocked off the move. The most pause with the wire mic you've been wearing on your ass. Let's continue with the news clip, though. Smash that like button, subscribe to the channel. Released a single, Turn Myself In, the day he turned himself in. It's gotten almost 7 million views. The prosecutor charging this wasn't just a robbery and shooting, but gang activity. She put a Chicago detective on the stand to testify that Banks and Bennett are members of Chicago gangs. Is it possible to continue your affiliation and even commit crimes when you move out of Chicago if you're in a different city or if a different area? Yes, ma'am. The judge ruled today there is enough evidence to move forward with all charges against Banks and Bennett, including criminal intent to murder as well as criminal gang activity. They'll be back in front of a judge in a month to ask for bond. Live downtown, Lori Wilson, Channel 2 Action News. All right, Lori, of course, we will continue to watch what happens here. Dirk Banks spoke exclusively to Channel 2's investigative reporter Mark Winnie just before he turned himself in last month. You're about to surrender as we speak. Yeah. How come? Because I have none to add. Like, I have nothing to run from. Did you do it? Did you shoot this man? Did you commit the other crimes of which you're accused? Um, no. You can watch Mark's interview with Lil Durk by clicking on the story. On Let me tell you something, man. Smash that like button. You have it? Smash it. It's free. It ain't gonna hurt your feelings. It ain't gonna cost you. It ain't gonna do none of that. Share this video. Subscribe if you have it. If I don't know what you're waiting on, to be honest. But y'all see the picture I'm trying to paint for y'all, man. Anybody that don't want to go to that, go in that system, go to that jail to do them years, and they got an opportunity to knock niggas off, whatever, or knock whatever's in their way. You don't think a nigga like that that come from that lifestyle out of Chicago, and now he came up to Mills. You don't think he gonna play like that? That part. What are we talking about here? Especially if you know you could get away, and if you got away one or two times. See, that's the problem. Remember my yesterday video when I played Charles the White clip? And Charles the White said, of course he be having nightmares. Because when you get away with certain things, especially a shit like this, they're accusing him all. Now, you've been getting away for, like, for a couple of years with doing this shit. You always going to feel like them federal is going to come knock on your door. Then you're going to get a little bit comfortable, feel like you got away with that shit. You might continue doing it more. And that's be and that be the mistake that niggas make. Okay. If you did it to FBG Cash, if you was involved in that murder, allegedly, duh, were well, you and King Von, that don't mean you could continue doing this shit. You should have just stopped right there. Sometimes you got to let certain things go. And we're going to get to a clip when Wallow spoke to King, to on Little Dirt and told him. It's like Wallow warned this nigga. Y'all got to remember this clip, too, when I play it. But let's get to the news when he actually beat the charges after King Von passed away. <laughs> but these two niggas that was 100% involved in King Von death is still living, still getting money. One turned Muslim like Dirk did. The other one dropping a documentary, still chilling and cruising. Makes you think sometimes, right? Let's get to it, though. Smash that like button. It's released a single turn. Well, charges against Chicago rapper Lil Durk that stemmed from his involvement in a 2019 shooting in Atlanta have been dropped according to Fulton County court documents. Tonight we're learning more about the reasoning behind the decision and hearing reaction from the rapper's attorney. Fulton County District Attorney Fonny Willis has dropped all charges against Chicago rapper Lil Durk in connection to a January 2019 shooting near the Varsity Restaurant in downtown Atlanta. Dirk, whose real name is Derek Banks, was facing several felony charges, including criminal attempt to commit murder, aggravated assault, participation in criminal street gang activity, possession of a firearm during the commission of a felony, and possession of a firearm by a convicted felon for his alleged role in the shooting, alongside now-deceased rapper King Vaughn. In May of 2019, the rapper left touring early to turn himself in to the Fulton County Jail. For some reason, they decided that Mr. Banks was involved since some of the people he affiliated with were involved in the shooting. Uh, we strongly denied that. Atlanta police said the argument between a group of people near the restaurant. He was rushed to Atlanta Medical Center for treatment. A motion to dismiss charges filed on October 17th states, quote, the facts of this case have been reviewed and although probable cause existed for the defendant's arrest, the decision at this time is not to prosecute. The DA's office cited prosecutorial discretion as the cause for dismissal. Choosing not to is essentially
I want to pause that. We're gonna go back to it now. You and now when y'all go when y'all watch this video, I want y'all to pause that part right there where you see the statement that Fannie Willis made. The DA, they dropped that charge for a reason, y'all. I'm telling y'all, they had five cameras. They had enough evidence to charge dirt without King Von being around. That's what y'all gotta understand. They just showed you five charges of possession of this, possession of five. They couldn't listen. Let me tell y'all something. When the DA feel like, okay, we can't charge him for the attempted murder, we really don't got enough proof. We don't really got enough evidence to um to indictment the, 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 for him, the, the 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 one that shot him. I mean, they don't got they don't got enough on that. Okay, we're gonna drop that, but we're gonna give him the lightest charge. What's the lightest charge on that list? The possession of a firearm, right? I know I'm not tripping here. Am I lying? What are we talking about here? They didn't even give him that. That tells you, bingo, Fed, federalities hit that nigga on, on Fannie Willis up and they told her, drop the charges. Drop the charges. And if 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 real street niggas that watch my video, and y'all understand where I'm coming from because I come from that lifestyle also, I had to sit back and I sat, I did my research yesterday about this. I said, yo. They dropped the state charge for the federalities to come two years later and get this nigga on, on heavier charges. Pause. Because they knew the state is a possibility. The heavy charge they was trying to charge an attempt to murder the gang, all that bull BS, whatever. His lawyers probably had. They had a fight on that. So they would have had to come to a deal probably if they didn't go to the trial. They probably would have been like, yo, well, listen, we're going to charge the possession of firearms. We know he was in the car with King Von when they was bucking at the nigga in Atlanta. That part. What are we talking about here? That's conspiracy right there from the door. You with the nigga that was shooting too. You with King Von. And then they got King Von hopping out the car. If anybody seen the full video, a video of the Atlanta shooting down there when it was but they see King Von running shooting at the nigga running back. Dirk was in the car also. <laughs> And y'all telling me all of a sudden Fannie Willis was like, okay, we're just going to drop the charge. That wasn't enough evidence. No, they dropped that shit for a reason. The federalities was coming. That's why they got this nigga comfortable. That part. What are we talking about here? And the icing on the cake, why they did that? Because the whole time they already had their foreman from their team, from their camp, OTF Jam. That's why they dropped the state. Because they was going to let him continue being around them niggas. Let's continue, though. <laughs> Argument between a group of people near the restaurant. He was rushed to Atlanta Medical Center for treatment. A motion to dismiss charges filed on October 17th states, quote, The facts of this case have been reviewed, and although probable cause existed for the defendant's arrest, the decision at this time is not to prosecute. The DA's office cited prosecutorial discretion as the cause for dismissal. Choosing not to is essentially code for we can't prove our case. Um, probable cause is an incredibly low standard. It's not like reasonable doubt at trial. Manny Aurora, the attorney representing Banks in the case, says while it took some time, he believes it was the right decision on the part of prosecutors. It took three years. He was never indicted. And our position has always been while he was present, he didn't do any of the shooting or wasn't involved in it. Aurora tells Fox 5 they're now considering trying to get the charges expunged from Banks's record. And we reached out to the Fulton DA's office to get some additional insight on the decision not to. You see what I mean? That's my point. They dropped the charge for a reason. Do the yo, listen. Anybody that got common sense understand what I'm talking about. A federal rally charge, it carries, it, it carries more and it's more heavy. Paul, it's a heavy charge, way than a state charge. Because when the feds come, nigga, 99% they beat in their cases. That part. They like, nah, pump the brakes over there. Hold up, pump that. Let me call Fanny right quick. Don't take that to trial. Act like y'all don't got enough evidence on, on, on Dirk Banks over there. Drop the charges since those, his co-defender, King Bond, passed away. So drop the charges, and we're going to build up this, 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 this Rico on them. And that shit went on for another two years where we at right now, 2024. I sat back, I was like, yo, Dirk should have known this. But see, if you go to his little music, people been snipping it around the internet on Instagram. He been talking about, I think it's a song called Federality something, Federal something. He talks about it. 
Fans about to come get me. You know what I mean, homie, one of my homies snitch. All it's this like subliminals he's throwing in his music. That shit is crazy. Then it comes to light. It's like this nigga felt it, but he didn't know who the hell probably had that wire. And by the time he found out, it probably was too late. That's what I'm thinking, allegedly. I'm thinking Dirt Pie found out it was OTF Jam and it was a little bit too late. So allegedly, if that male lady was his baby mom and they trying to pin them two murders with the nigga that knocked off his brother D thing and then that nigga ended up dying, Stephon Mack, whatever, they saying Dirk has something to do with that. Who the hell, how the hell the feds know that? That's that's from uh, an informant over there. OTF Jam and probably somebody else that we don't even know. Let's get the King Yellow talking about the OTF jam situation because there's more to the situation in the back end. And if I'm going to hear somebody, I'm going to hear somebody from Chicago, obviously. Shout out to King Yellow, man. Let's get the King Yellow talking about this. The reason why OTF jam snitched on Lil Dirt. OTF didn't help when OTF jam baby mama was murdered. So you lose your girl while you in a pen and you looking for OTF for somebody to go slide or protect and do whatever while you locked up because you not there to do nothing. And obviously nobody did nothing to save his baby mama or help his baby mama or figure out what happened with his baby mama. He had a hidden agenda already. In jail, OTF jail was talking down on them, mainly Booney Mo. They was locked up together. So they caught a case together in jail together. They was not messing with each other. He was mad, Lil Dirt kept rocking with Booney Mo and wasn't going to stop messing with him. He snaked out Lil Dirt because you see Dirk is paying attention and mad that Dirk was putting more time and effort into Booney Mo. He had Booney Mo around. And y'all see the rat OTF Jam. Y'all see his mug shot on his pictures and just look at him. He looked like he been through a lot and he looked like he had a hard time in prison. This is the reason why he snaked out Lil Dirk. The reason... I think, I believe it too. If that's true, smash, hold on, hold on, hold on. Y'all see that thumb? Smash that like button. Y'all do me that favor. It's free. Ain't gonna hurt. Ain't gonna cost you. None of that. That junk is free. That part. Like one up. Y'all already know the vibes. <coughs> but I'm kind of believing that also. Because if that's true, now they're trying to say the male lady is his, it's his baby mom. Now the people that's watching this, make sure y'all comment and let me know if this if this is OTF Jan baby mom, yo. If this is really her. If this is OTF baby mom, the male lady, because this is this is circling around the internet right now. Now Stefan Mack with the with the D thing, that's 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 more real. That's more you could believe in that. That's more believable right there. I right, spin back for his blood brother and all that. Okay, we understand that. Allegedly, if um, if Dirk has something to do with get back for his brother, allegedly, okay, we understand that. But this situation, I don't know if this OTF jam um baby mom or not. I don't know. But let me tell you something. If he did all this because he felt some type of way, you see what I'm talking about? I said that in my last video. It's spooky. Be jealousy, envy. Nigga did 12 joints. Niggas probably didn't hold him down the way they supposed to hold him down throughout, throughout the whole 12 years. Let me tell you something. Niggas will come home and get everything like he did. 50,000 plus. 50,000 plus he got from dirt. A house, a crib, all that shit. Y'all can go to his interviews. All, he got an interview when he talk about it. I played that in one of my videos. But see, when you get jammed up and you don't want to go back and do another 10 or 12, this when the situation happened, but you can't blame nobody but your goddamn self because you supposed to have a position over there laying low after doing 12, nigga. You supposed to have your little niggas doing that work for you, allegedly. You supposed to not be out there doing no footwork, nigga. Your little niggas supposed to do for that, do that for you now because now your cake is up after you came home from doing 12 being silent, right? But who is we to know that you didn't plan on being a snitch right before you came home? <laughs> telling you people hold grudges and it'd be the most it'd be the most dumbest s man and if it's true that he felt jealous because dirt pushed him off and all this and started messing with boomy on booty on boomy low whatever boomy on bo um, bro whatever the other nigga name whatever this goddamn name that's the most that's some come on bro that's light bro 
He supposed to just move on to like, like you know what? I right, y'all niggas want to play me? I'm about to start going hard on y'all niggas on this rap when I come home. Because now my reputation gonna go up because I used to be down with y'all niggas. See, he played the game wrong. That's what made me believe he caught that charge, OTM Jan, and he ended up just switching up. Like, man, I ain't going back to jail for these niggas. You crazy, he said. And wore that little ass wire mic he had on. That's what happened. Let's continue, though. Smash that like button, subscribe to the channel, man. They had wiretaps of Dirk allegedly trying to clean up the people he think might tell. Now, if that... What do you mean by clean up? Okay. That could be taken a few different ways. No, they saying they got wiretaps, allegedly, that Dirk is saying, get these people out the way. Damn. Now, that's the case. We have a murder for hire. This carries life. Mm -hmm. Attempted murder for hire, because Quando's in the back seat. Mm -hmm. and, and that was the intended target, by the way, and, Quando. And, yeah, and whatever conspiracies for however many people he may have mentioned, right, um, was not going to help him. Is the what he the, the confusion he tried to uh, of him his travel. He had one flight going to Dubai, one flight going to Switzerland, mm -hmm. but then he had a PJ go to Italy. I going think. to Italy. Yeah. They this is dead. This is crazy, yo. It's crazy, man. <coughs> you kind of feel bad for little Dirk, yo, because we all seeing his career coming up and all that, whatever. But one thing I got to give respect to out of that whole Chicago scene and always kept it quiet, bro. Never was in the, the spotlight of some murder or one of his niggas got knocked off and you hear him his, him and his niggas spinning it, spinning out there in Chicago getting retired. And if they did, allegedly, them niggas did it so good and quiet. And that's, them, that's Sosa, man. That's Chief Keith and his niggas over there, man. Shout out to Chief Keith. The pioneer of the drill music out there in Chicago. The king of drill music in Chicago. The king of Chicago. Not Little Dirt. Chief Keith is the king. Because you know why I say that? You never heard G. What, what's, what's they can? Glow Boys over there? Glow Boys Entertainment? GBE, whatever? Them niggas. You, him and his niggas, bro, you never heard nothing. And these niggas be staying in Cali. He out there in Cali. Never went back to Chicago. And you never hear him and his camp get involved in some attempted murders, some shootouts, none of that shit. It's like, it's like, it's like, yo, I gotta give Chief Keith his props. I gotta give him his flowers on that. I have to. Shout out to you, Chief. If you watch, if you ever, one of your niggas gonna watch this video. But if y'all watch it, shout out to y'all niggas, man, because y'all niggas kept it solid and quiet for so many years. We never heard a Rico coming on Chief Keith. We never heard nothing. Only thing we heard that 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 that, that I mean, it was Fred Joe Saw that passed away. That's it. After that, nigga, we ain't never hear nothing negative about these niggas. In the news, spinning the block, doing some most. You know what I mean, we it was always 63rd and King Vine and Old Block and Duck and his crew and. Then you know what I mean a little bit of OTF and you got the you know what I mean the Mimo six the six hundred niggas you oh, but you never hear GBE think about this what I'm about to what I'm telling you let that marinate in your brain that nigga either gotta be smart nigga or he just like nigga I don't rock with none of them niggas me and my niggas we good over here God you you smart you push all them funny niggas away and you kept the real solid ones me and Chief Keith. You don't never hear nothing. It's 2024 and we, and I'm lying. What are we talking about here? And when y'all comment, y'all gonna be like, nah, Smoke, you right. Yo, shout out to Chief Keith, because you right. Them boys been quiet for years. He the pioneer of the drill music. He's the pioneer of that shit in Chicago. It's like he let Dirk take off. I'm gonna let this dumb ass, I'm gonna let this nigga take off with them niggas in the back of them niggas. It's like, yo, I'm telling you right now, yo, I feel like Chief Keith knew shit before shit even hit the fan, bro. 
But I feel like he's never, because you never seen Chief Keith and Little Dirt. Them niggas never was cool by y'all with each other. Because if they was, they would have did more music together. That part, what are we talking about here? Chief don't really rock with Dirt. He rock with Little Reese, though. We always hear Little Reese, but you got to understand, Little Reese got his own niggas. Besides Little Reese, we never hear nothing coming out them glow boys over there, man. Them Chief Keith niggas over there. Nothing crazy. Always kept the solid and quiet. Always. But this is why this is Wilo and Gilly. Now, this is Wilo warning <laughs> Little Dirk about the shit that he's going through now. I think, what, a year ago or some shit when he went on their show, Little Dirk? Shout out to Gilly and Wilo. Now, hear what Wilo speak about, because he speak about his life and how he had to let the killer that killed his brother, he had to let that go for him to grow up and be where he at now. It's deep. Sometimes you got to let shit go sometimes because sometimes that demon will come back and bring you right back. Next thing you know, you in a situation like dirt, man. Let's see what Wilder had to say to Dirk, though. Smash that like button, subscribe to the channel. Y'all already know the vibes. This is dead. I'm here, though. And I'm going to say some shit that, like, this is documented. You know, I got a TED Talk. I forgave my brother's killer. And I'm saying it to say this. Nigga that killed my brother. My, my brother died in my grandma's arms. In that fucking house that we grew up in. Nigga shot my brother. He ran to the fucking, he ran to the house. He died in Nanny Hall when she opened the door. So I'm telling you this some real shit, man. If, if I ain't let that shit go, I won't be right here today. I won't be here for my niece and my nephews. Me and Gil won't be doing this. Y'all won't know me. I won't be able to get y'all this game. But I had to leave. I had to let that shit go. And when I let that shit go, nigga, I started to grow. And I started to glow. And now I'm here today, and it was harder than a motherfucker, man. And I'm talking about this is my big brother, nigga. I shared the cell with him. I shared the bed with him when we was fucking kids. This is little Steve. But I can tell you one thing. Now I'm out here taking care of his daughter, paying for her to go to school, taking care of my nephew, taking care of my mama and my grandmama. Talk to him. Show. Sure. Because I forgave my brother killer, but you know, I understand. I understand what y'all going through. But I love all you young niggas in here. And I mean that shit. I love you niggas, man. And I, and I hope y'all make it out. I hope y'all make it the fuck out, man. Man, he like... It's so, up, man. it's so crazy. Yeah, this motherfucker really dropping tears for this shit. Like, shit for real. Like, I love being this day. He should have took feed of that. <coughs> Dirk. <coughs> I think when Dirk beat that state charge, he got a little comfortable, right? Because I got to peak the time. So hold up. Smash that like button. Subscribe to the channel before, before we continue. Smash the like button. Subscribe to the channel if you're at it. Share the video too. But Dirk had to know this Fed rally case was coming, bro. Because it's like it all makes sense. It's like he tried to convert to Islam, try to not mean get his sins out, whatever. I, I, I. Then he started doing, you know, more more peace movement and all this. And I mean, this year and all this, then the third, even though he had mad years to do that shit. See, what I'm trying to say is it's the company you keep around you that gets you jammed up in the situations you are. And that's what Lil Dirk at right now as we speak. What are we talking about here? Situations he got caught up in because the niggas he got around him. Too many niggas. Then you bring another wild nigga named King Bomb. So now more extra shit coming on top of your, your situation you already had going on before King Von even entered the door and got signed to OTF. You just added more beef and more problems. That's what made me think that allegedly Dirk wanted all that shit to happen so he could knock everything out of his competitions. But see, what he didn't know was the whole time behind his back and his right shoulder, left shoulder over here, nigga behind you, Pauls, one of them three, one of them three niggas had the whole time was snitching on you. Wasn't DDG ski, whatever. Wasn't him. It was your nigga OTF Jam the whole time. And whatever OTF Jam got on dirt, bro, y'all got to understand that shit going to smoke him. He's going to have to cop out. There's no way in the world you're going to take something like that to trial, knowing that nigga had a wire mic, a little wire or whatever, cell phone recorder, everything y'all was talking about. 
no way you could take that at you. You can't be audio. You just can't. Anything he come out of his mouth saying like, yeah, you know, go handle that, go do this, you know what I mean? Now, if he didn't say Pacific, Pacific words on go knock a nigga off and he said it in codes and shit like that, now this I'm talking about dirt. Now, this is something him and his lawyer got to sit back and tell him what the hell them codes mean if he said it in codes words. Because I can't hear Dirk saying, yeah, you know, go hand that, go knock that nigga off. You, we got 20K down there for him. Now, if you talking like that on a, on a, on a, on a wire, whatever, on the audio or whatever they got them wired on, how you going to beat that? Then they bring in the body, what matching, what your audio, what you said with the body. Then with the nigga that's snitching on you, you can't take that risk and go to trial with that. You crazy. You lost your mind. If they got evidence of the body that you're talking about and they got the nigga that's snitching on you to take the stand on you too, how the hell are you going to take something like that to trial? There's no way. There's no way, bro. I'm telling you, Dirk, I don't know, man. Dirk, I'm telling you right now, they dropped that state case with him and King Vine. They dropped that shit for a reason. Because they looked at that little Georgia situation. That was light work. They're like, nah, we ain't letting this nigga get off on that. He just looking at probation and probably a couple months in jail. He gonna come on, he, he could cop out to probation. This is our federality thinking when he caught that case in Georgia and after that, King Von passed away. They told Georgia DA down there, Fannie Willis and the rest, like, yo, drop them damn charges, yo. We're gonna build this case two more years on them and we're gonna come in 2024 like they did now. Don't that make sense, champs? Come on, what are we talking about here? That's crazy to me. That's bugged out. That shit is spooky, spooky work. But see, this nigga should have known that shit, though. Like, there's no way in the world, my nigga, you didn't feel uh, the feds was like, you didn't feel. There's no way your lawyers, like, this is this another thing. Y'all got to understand, when you a high power, a high profile, like, gone, like little dirt, your lawyers, if you got good lawyers that's on your team, that's on you, that rock with you hard, like, a, I mean, that. They're going to let you know, Paul. They're going to let you know that the federalities is watching you, bro. Lawyers somehow, some, them, them niggas find out shit too. And then none of them lawyers told them that the feds was watching this nigga? But if they did, now is it true that he was trying to knock off OTF, Um, I mean, knocked off OTF BM to, sh to show a message, allegedly? By the time they got to dirt, by the time his lawyers told him the feds was coming, he panicked, started doing, started making mistakes, or whatever, knocking people off. We don't know. We gonna find out when the trial comes. But if the if his lawyers warned this nigga, man, a year before this nigga, I, listen. Once I would have beat that state charge, I would have fell back. I would have fell back. Once they dropped that charge on me in Georgia with King Von, I would have fell back completely. Nigga, y'all wouldn't have heard my name in no type of mix out here in these streets. I would have been just dropping music, that's it. And push these niggas away from me. Dewey Low, all y'all niggas. Y'all niggas gotta get away, bro. Y'all just have to. My brother done died, know what I mean? Now I beat the state case, I gotta stay low. Don't that make more sense? This nigga just continue bugging out. Talking crazy on the music, got the whole gang behind him. Dry snitching in his music. Gotta be the dumbest, dumbest criminals I know, bro. It's crazy, man. Y'all already know the vibes, man. I want to hear y'all comment or hear y'all smoke. Make sure y'all comment it below and let me know. Did, did the state drop the charge for the federalities to come two years later? Did the federalities hit the state? Fannie Willis and them are on. Because y'all got to remember, after they dropped that shit with on, on, young, on, 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 Little Dirk and King Von, boom. That's when the YSL case came a couple months later. A year later, no more. <laughs> the feds told her, go handle that YSL, drop this. We got this two years later. We're going to build this case up on this nigga. That's what the feds did on Little Dirk. The whole time they had an informant from his camp. That's why. Nasty work, spooky. But y'all know the vibes, man. Let me get up out of here. Smash that like button. Subscribe to the channel. Share this video. But most importantly, smash that like button. It ain't going to hurt your feeling. It ain't going to cause you. Share the video. Subscribe if you have it. Don't know what you're waiting on. Try to get your membership, man. Join Team Smoke, Smoke Gang. But most importantly, smash the like button. Do me that favor. I'm up out of here. Salute, gang. Comment in below. I want to hear your opinion also. 
Salute. If they know, they know. It's your boy Smoke News TV. I'm up out of here, man.